Torres with his best game as a Shocker to date. 13 points on six of nine shooting, six assists, one turnover in 32 minutes. And Ricky, I know it's been kind of a difficult process getting to this point from the time you got here. Talk a little bit about the adjustments that you've had to make to get you to this point. Man, um, it, it was a lot different level of play, you know, physicality. The, the guys here are faster, stronger, bigger. You know, it's just I had to adjust and adapt, you know, and the way my team and, you know, the coaches and everybody around me was just they kept confidence in me because everybody has seen me shoot before and, you know, the shots haven't been falling this year. And For them to fall today is just, you know, I, I, I thank everybody that kept the confidence in me and it's like it's about time. Well, let's get back. We'll get back to the shooting, but you know, I know at the very beginning you were almost tentative, just trying not to turn the ball over. And three or four games in, it seemed like you started to relax a little bit. And that part of it has come along a little sooner, just running the team, getting them into the offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, early on, that was my number one focus. You know, I just I wanted to run the system and not turn the ball over. And, you know, at, at some point I realized, you know, I'm, I'm just out there. I'm not really doing much. And coach, you know, kind of told me, hey, you know, you got to let loose. Like, like you, you're, you're playing too tight. And, you know, I, I kind of, you know, I, I heard him, but I didn't really, it, it didn't click right away. And, you know, eventually, I mean, I don't know when it clicked, but happy it did. If you watch the NBA, if you watch college basketball, they either take the ball to the basket or they shoot the three. A lost art is the 15-foot jump shot, but you seem to thrive on that. Oh, I love that shot. That's, that's my favorite shot. It's always been my favorite shot. <laughs> And you're good off the dribble. You penetrate that zone, and you open things up for them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's that, that's my main focus. Is you know, at, for this team, if if somebody's sitting in zone, um, you know, just try and get it to the middle. Whether that's a, a dribble drive or pass it to somebody flash in the middle. That's that's just my main focus. Talking about the shot, it seemed like when you were struggling early that the shot looked flat a lot of the time. I was watching you at shoot around today. Your legs were really into it. There was a little more arch. You were making everything. Is that a an ob is that a correct observation? For sure, for sure. Um, I, I I think that just comes with confidence, though. Um, I wasn't very confident because you know when you're over however much I was over, it you kind of lose confidence. And you know it, it it's just today I was more confident. And for some reason I woke up today and you know I w I've been in the gym. <laughs> I'll say that I, I've been in the gym working because. That's all. That's all. Coaches have been telling me, you know, get in the gym, get in the gym. You gotta, you gotta shoot your way out of a shooting slump. And, and you know, when you talk about confidence, I'm sure questioning too often: should I even shoot this or not? I'm open, but I haven't been making them. Should I even let it go? Exactly, exactly. That that's been another thing. Is you know, I, I'll, I'll be open and I'll kind of be like, man, it, in my mind, I, I gotta shoot this, but. If I miss this, man, it, it's like, man, it, it, it hurts. <laughs> well, and one of the hallmarks of a good point guard, which you are, is not only to get around your man, but to force somebody else to pick you up so you can find the open man underneath, and you were doing that with great consistency tonight. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, when when somebody's guarding me, if I can get another defender to help me, now we're playing five on four. So that's my main focus. Obviously, this is a, a critical time for this team that's still learning about each other, still coming together. And, and can you feel the just kind of the interest among everybody that let's see what we can do with this time where we don't have school and we can really concentrate on basketball? Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's amazing. You know, this time is amazing for us. It, it's, it's real valuable for us. Um, we can practice. We can, we can do individual work. We can get better individually. That will make us get better as a team. And, you know, we can go through film and you know there's no more time restraints right now so we're we're all you know we're all working right now brick by brick trying to get it right tell us what it's like to play in front of this crowd at coke arena man it's it's unreal I, i've never witnessed anything like it i've i've been you know I, I i was a juco guy i didn't really play in front of crowds like this but i've i've went to other division one games i've went to nba games and i don't know it's for some reason it's just a different it, it's electric in here. I, I don't know. It's, I've never felt anything like it, and I love it. So, I got to say, there's just a, a tone in your voice, an excitement, uh, an enthusiasm, a lightness that obviously uh, wasn't there maybe a month or so. Ago. Man, it, that's like a, it's about time. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> well, Ricky, thanks for your time. Great game yes, tonight. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. it. All Thank right, you. Ricky Torres, our star of the game, presented by the Kansas Lottery.